With bipartisan support from colleagues in the State House and Senate, Representative Jim Cox of Berks County unveiled a plan that wipes out the number one stress for many homeowners, particularly elderly homeowners in Pennsylvania. This bill is about true, true home ownership. It's about keeping people in their homes. Uh, more than 230 years ago, we fought a war from independence, from tyranny. And today, the battle is all about getting rid of the tyranny of school property taxes. Cox's Property Tax Independence Act replaces the funds public schools receive from the property tax with other revenue sources. Specifically, the bill would raise the state's personal income tax rate from 3.07 percent to 4 percent. It would also generate additional funds by closing loopholes in the state's sales tax and raising that rate from 6 percent to 7 percent. One of the uh, one of the objections we hear about is, hey, you're even going to put a tax on candy and, you know, the little kids are going to have to pay that. And I love M&Ms as much as the next guy. But you know what? If I can get rid of my school property taxes by paying an extra seven cents on a dollar bag of candy, I think it's worth a trade. Lawmakers who support the Property Tax Independence Act stress that the bill will guarantee the same level of funding for schools across the Commonwealth as they currently receive through school property taxes. The difference is... I think we're, we're moving ahead and I want the taxpayers to know, as I always say, the cavalry is on the way. And we're about to give them the relief that they've been waiting for for years. The bill has been enthusiastically endorsed by the Independent Pennsylvania Coalition of Taxpayer Associations.